from Paternoster. We arrived yesterday. We didn't do much vlogging yesterday, but we had the most amazing time. We went to Darling, that's Ryan over there, he's contemplating the alarm system. But um, we went to Darling and Darling was absolutely wonderful. We went to Darling Breweries and then uh, wine that we love to drink obviously, um, having my blog called Aram Lily. We really love the Aram Fields from Darling Cellars, it's a Chenin Blanc and we love it. So when we saw that they were in Darling, we definitely popped in there and I uh, probably had one too many wine glasses because they do um, a wine tasting but it's eight glasses and I, I probably drank about three of those glasses and even three is a hell of a lot for me so um, needless to say I think I got a little bit tipsy so Yes, right. He's joining me on our walk to the beach. I think a little tipsy is an understatement. <laughs> um, <laughs> was that a little bit ridiculous? A little bit drunk. And yeah, then you get super, super chatty. Oh, uh, motor mouth. It's quite, uh, and that was cute. It was cute. <laughs> it very, very rarely happens. So um, we just went with it. But then after that, we went to dinner at this restaurant. So this is the front of the restaurant. So you can see it's a very sweet, it's right on the sand and it has these two cute little boats in the front. And then this is the view. There's absolutely nothing but beach sand and that beautiful sea right over there. So this morning we're going to go for a walk along the beach and just enjoy being here so close to the sea. believe all of these are mussel shells. I'm currently walking in the biggest pot of mussels. I can't believe it. So since we're staying in the stone cottage here in Potsnoster, I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour. So you can actually rent where we're staying and it is absolutely beautiful as I will show you in a second. And it is so amazing because if you are standing right where I'm standing. You can actually see a sea view, which is so beautiful. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear, but you can hear the sea. So waking up this morning, going to bed last night, to the sound of the ocean moving is just so phenomenal, especially for somebody those days in Joburg, far away from the beach. So it's such a treat. But this place is absolutely stunning. As I mentioned, it's called Stone Cottage, if you'd like to rent it. And let me give you a little tour. So this is our bedroom. It is beautiful. It's got this lovely little bed. And then you can see it's a pitched roof um, with these skylights in it. And it's absolutely lovely. We've got a little lounge area. And as I mentioned here, we have our balcony where we had breakfast. And over there you can see the sea so you can hear it quite clearly from here and then these two houses over here are absolutely beautiful as well um i can show you a little bit of our street over there and it's just perfect really so if i go inside and take you back through the bedroom i'll be able to take you into the bathroom so here we've got our stairs to go downstairs and here is our bathroom. It is really lovely. So we've got this gorgeous bath and the double basins. Hi guys. And then we have this little dresser over here which is beautiful to do your makeup. And then we have the bathroom through there but look at all this cupboard space. Absolutely love this. Does anybody else have cupboard space or their wardrobes in a big bathroom area because I really really like this design and I wonder if it's not the most practical thing ever. Then we have a huge shower and due to the water scarcity here in the Western Cape we've got a bucket in there to conserve as much water as possible but really really lovely uh, shower too. So all in all a gorgeous, gorgeous bathroom.
we've just headed out for a little drive. We are now, where are we? We're we at the Columbine Lighthouse. The Columbine Lighthouse. So it's only about, I thought it was about a 10 minute drive from Postmaster. Yeah. So really, really close along the same coastline. And we've come out to the lighthouse here. It's absolutely beautiful. And we're just going to pop into the shop quickly. And then there is a, a shack. Is that correct? <laughs> It's called the shack, the supposedly. Shack. It's, it's closer to the coastline, so we're going to go have a look at that. Yeah, but it's beautiful out here. It's so different to the vegetation that you get in most places, so it's very, very lovely to see. We just spent the, the morning at um, Musenberg Beach. We've been having such a nice time. Ryan was actually surfing. Yeah. Well, I was trying to surf. <laughs> First time like, surfing. I mean, it's it's all of trying to surf and it became trying not to drown. <laughs> yeah. It was quite hilarious, but we're going to go and grab some ice cream from the creamery. So let's go do it. checked into our hotel here in Cape Town. We are staying at the Cloud9 Boutique Hotel in Gardens and it's such a lovely location to stay because everything's pretty much within a reasonable distance from Gardens which is fantastic and we're staying in this beautiful beautiful hotel. Um, our room is just a little a tiny room but it is so pretty and so quaint so uh, let me take you on a little bit of a room tour quickly. So as you can see here is our bed. It's a lovely sized bed. So beautiful. We've got this little fireplace over here and we've got our little drinks. And then if I go in this direction, you can see our bathroom, which is in this beautiful bay window. It's really warm in here at the moment because it's kind of acting like a, a greenhouse at the moment, but like really spectacular. Um, little bathroom it's just the bath and the hand shower there's no actual shower but that's perfectly fine we just have to be water conscious and then we've got our lovely little sink here and if we go out to the section again you can see our little office area come kitchen basics um, not really kitchen basics but <laughs> I mean the mini fridge and the the coffees and then this evening we are going to be meeting up with 
Ryan's friends for dinner and we were with his friends actually at Musenberg so you will have seen that footage already of all of them surfing they all went to school together so I think it was lovely for them to all get together and go surfing and yeah what else I feel like I haven't updated you as much on what we've been doing as I probably should have we've had a lot going on because yesterday was my birthday I'm not even sure that I mentioned that so um, we had a huge amount of fun celebrating my birthday we left Paternoster bright and early we were in the car by seven and we drove into Stellenbosch we had Stellenbosch we were in Stellenbosch for breakfast so I had a little birthday breakfast just with Ryan alone which was wonderful and we had a little bit of birthday cake there too which is very cute then after that uh, we met up with one of his friends from med school and we headed into Elgin for a wedding so I actually went to a wedding on my birthday so I didn't vlog there obviously for privacy reasons and it's the couple's big day so we were there for that and it was spectacular so I'll insert a picture of Ryan and I over here and uh, you can have a look at how lovely the occasion was but we had a wonderful time we came home pretty late so today I've been pretty tired I've actually got a really red eye I don't know if you're able to see it I just put drops in because it's a tired eye <laughs> um, we had a spectacular spectacular evening it was a beautiful wedding and then today we left Stellenbosch and we headed to Musenberg where we were on the beach and where you would have seen the boys surfing that was also really lovely and yeah now we're here in Cape Town so we're in Cape Town for this afternoon this evening and the whole of tomorrow because our flight only leaves tomorrow night so tomorrow we'll have a little bit of time to ourselves but this evening it's going to be nice to catch up with all the boys and see what they're all getting up to and yeah it's just been a spectacular little break I think it's been a real treat so uh, the purpose of us being here was for the wedding but we extended the time that we were going to be staying here for purposes of my birthday so I've been truly and utterly spoiled and it's been a lot of fun but um, I still want to go and have a tour around this hotel Ryan just stepped out but you can see the ceiling over here it's absolutely beautiful I've got a thing for press ceilings they're so beautiful but this hotel has a bar up on the rooftop and I think we're going to go and have a little drink there perhaps a swim because it is particularly hot so uh, let's go and scout out this place from our last day in Cape Town. Today is really cloudy. As you can see over there, the clouds have rolled in. But we're still excited to be here. We're starting off our morning ready to do a little gym session. We've just got a lovely gym set up over here. As you can see, Ryan's setting up his watt bike over there. And we've got a lot of weights. We've got basically everything that you need to get started with a little workout and I'm just doing a Kyla It Seems Bikini Body Guide as you can see over here um, I'm starting it again this is pretty much all I do when I work out so yeah let's get started We just made our way through to Bokarp or Boerkarp as we keep getting corrected. Apparently people who live in Cape Town love to correct your pronunciation but that's quite fun with me. Um, so as you can see we've got a street um, down here. This isn't the main road but it's one parallel to the main road and so beautiful with all these different coloured houses and right behind me you'll be able to see the mountain 
and I think it's just so picturesque um, since we've been here I think there's a car coming yeah and since we've been here there's just loads of people coming to shoot their fashion wear and there's actually um, a minibus full of clothing and whatnot and they're doing outfit changes <laughs> it's quite fun to see the whole production team here but absolutely beautiful Ryan thinks I'm crazy for liking this kind of thing but then again that's the same reason he thinks I'm crazy for liking San Francisco so what can you do anyway for now we are going to be heading off to Chapman's Peak Drive I think and we're going to go and mill around there probably to Hard Bay and go and enjoy a little bit more oh by the way what we've been shooting here I'll insert an Instagram picture over here for you so anyway on to the next one 